What is good, YouTube? This is not your average sneakerhead, Tony Ramsey, giving you guys another quick unboxing here. Been waiting for this package to come in since uh, March 30th. Finally got here today. It is April 8th. This came from the Fulfillment Center out in California. If you haven't guessed it by now, this is the Yeezy 350 V2 in the clay colorway. As I mentioned, I got these directly from Yeezy Supply on the release day. Shout out to the RSVP Kings for helping me uh, pick these up. I was able to use their add to cart services. I will go ahead and leave a link in the description for that below. This video is not sponsored. They're just my go-to for getting hype releases like this. Woke up early in the morning, had this already uh, confirmed and on its way. Finally here today. So let's go ahead and get into the box and see what they look like. If you've never ordered from Yeezy Supply before, they do ship out pretty slow. Everything comes in a rubber plain box. It is from their fulfillment center out there in California, where I am originally from. And to get from California to Cincinnati took it about um, a week and a, a day. So today is Monday, April 8th. I did order these on Saturday, March 30th, and they just now did arrive today. I'm gonna get this box cut open here. go that's what's inside the box you see the 350 on the top and you guys all know what that means all right and here is the box as you mentioned before it's just a brown cardboard box with 350 on the top on one side you do have uh, Yeezy Boost 350 on that side made by Adidas and the Adidas uh, slash dot com and on the other side you do have your size tag and label I got these in an eight and a half that is my true size um, and the official colorway of this shoe, it's clay, 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 clay. So go ahead and get the shoes out of the box. Um, these do have a drawer style of a box where you just go ahead and slide your finger in there and slide the shoe out like a drawer. They will come wrapped up in the brown paper. That's how easy um, Yeezys come. Here are the shoes. This is the Yeezy 350 uh, V2 in the clay colorway. And upon first look, these are pretty, pretty dope. They're not quite as orange as I expected them to be, and I think that's a pleasant surprise. They're more of a muted orange color, which I think is pretty dope. And um, on the back, you do have this bright orange uh, pull tab right there. That's the brightest part of the shoe. Uh, let's get into some of the details. All right, so as I mentioned, uh, the color is not as bright as I would expect. I thought it was going to be a much more vibrant, peachy, uh, and orange color uh, from online pictures, but it's really more of a brownish uh, orange color. So it's 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 actually pretty dope. You, I can see myself wearing these not only in the spring and summer, but also into the fall because that color, although it does have some bright pops to it, it's not really um, oversaturated. So. I think that's going to be a good contrast uh, to wear with some outfits in the in the fall time. Um, so the upper, it's primarily prime knit like any Yeezy 350. If you ever had a 350 uh, V2 before, nothing changes there. Uh, it does have that crazy staticky uh, like pattern that you would see in the statics that came out around uh, December. You do have your translucent uh, stripe right here on the side. It's more like in a peach or an orange color there. That is somewhat see-through, so if you do wear colorful socks, you might be able to see them through there. But it won't show up too much, not like you would see in the statics. On the back, you do have that bright orange um, pull tab right there to help get the shoes on. All along the midsole, the boost here, it's in a very light uh, orange or peachy type of color there. And that goes all around the back of the shoe. Usually on uh, 350 V2s as well, you have this part of the sole that comes up right here. It's a different color. It is pretty well blended into this shoe, so it won't be that big of a deal. Um, and then you see the, the bottom of the shoe, you do have your, uh, your boost outsole, and you have boost written right there on the very bottom. Some more details of the shoe. They do come with um, some sort of a tan colored uh, shoelace already in the shoe. No extra laces with Yeezys. They also came with just this one tag. I know most uh, Yeezy Boost V2s do come with two different tags, but I guess with these coming from Yeezy Supply out here in California, they only had the one on there. Let's take a look at the insole. The insole is also in that same muted orange colorway there with uh, Adidas and Yeezy written on the bottom of it there. And there is the uh, the back of the the midsole if you want or the insole if you want to see that. 
So those are most of the major details for this Yeezy uh, Boost 350 V2 in the clay colorway. I do have the other uh, ones that released a couple weeks prior. You had the hyperspaces that only released over, I think, in uh, the Asia region. And then you did have the ones released in the, in the Europe uh, region, the True Forms. I have both of those. And as far as my favorite so far, let's go ahead and grab those. So having all three of the uh, different colorways lined up, I do have to say that so far my favorite would be the hyperspace. I just think that uh, that light color on there is pretty dope. I give the clays uh, probably my second and the True Forms my third third favorite. The True Forms actually are a little bit more similar to uh, the clays, just more with uh, gray of course, but that also was a, a lot like uh, the one you see on the clays. But I think my favorite so far would be the uh, the hyperspaces as that color is just, is just really, really, really dope. All right, that's gonna do it for my review of the Yeezy 350 Boost uh, V2 in the clay colorway. If you have not already, please make sure to like uh, the video. That does help the channel grow. We're trying to get the uh, channel to 100 subscribers by summertime. We're over halfway there. So thank you guys for all of your support and every thumbs up and comment goes a long way. So let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about these uh, Yeezy V2s. People say Yeezys are dead. I don't really think so. Um, I've picked up about four pairs of Yeezys myself this year. I think they're coming out with some really dope uh, colorways. The silhouette may be losing some of its appeal, but the colors that they're releasing right now are, are keeping it alive. So as far as I'm concerned, I think Yeezys are still alive and well. Well, thank you guys again for tuning in. This has been Not Your Average Sneakerhead, Tony Ramsey. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down low if you aren't already. And I'll catch you guys in my next review and unboxing. Peace.